Hello everyone, welcome back to all you subscribers that have been with us for a while, but if you just joined us in the summer and this is your first time, we're going to be going down to Bloomfield Road, we're going to be showing you the atmosphere in the ground, talking to fans outside the ground, we have got Critchley back who got us up out of this division before, he's a great manager and it kind of feels right that he's back, we feel like we're back on track and I think we're going to do really really well this season. We're playing Burton Albion. They're called the Brewers because they brew lots of beer. Burton Albion, it's Burton on Trent, which is kind of in between Stoke and Birmingham and kind of near Derby, that sort of area, Staffordshire. So they may bring quite a few fans. It's not too far, maybe an hour and a half, an hour and three quarters to get to Blackpool. So there's a chance there'll be quite a few Burton Albion fans there. I think we can win this. I know Burton Albion, uh, you know, I read on their website that they're looking forward to this. They think they can do well. I had a look at their pre-season and it's not been great, to be honest. It's, it got off to a good start. They had a two-all draw with West Brom, which was great. And then they played Stoke. They got beat at home 1-0. And then in the last one, they went to Scunthorpe and got beat 2-1, which Scunthorpe uh, have been in disarray for years, haven't they? Non-league. So they're not coming into this in the greatest of form. I think Blackpool have been getting better and better throughout the pre-season. I think they're in top form. I think they're going into this looking really good. So I can't see anything other than a win. I'm hoping to bring you a win tomorrow. Hope we're all coming out, smiling, all the Blackpool fans, and I'm filming you and you're all full of it and full of hope because this is the time of the year when football fans are full of hope. That's the whole point. The, the there's no point, you know, in saying, oh, we're going to go down. You know, you've got to have hope. You've got to have belief. You've got to believe that Shane Lavery's going to knock in 30 and all that sort of stuff. That's all part of being a Blackpool fan. I'm going to be there tomorrow selling the fanzine. Uh, the fanzine is out. The front cover is designed by Rob Purden. So check all the little Easter eggs in there. It's got a QR code on it as well. You can just scan that and you can just buy one issue or you can sub for the whole season you get four four copies 15 pound it's an absolute bargain so consider doing that it's a good one i've read it there's some real laugh out loud moments i think it's one of the best ones she's ever done so find me i need to beat jane i'll be selling them as well so find me and if you find me and you want to be on camera then please come on camera and we'll get you on there is a little button down below you can click on, which is join and you can become a member of the channel and help us. That we really appreciate that. Members get early access to the video. So as soon as the video is up and I've got it up and loaded onto YouTube, I will put a link in for members to watch that first. But everybody else, it's, it's no point. You don't have to be a member. It will be on a premiere on Sunday morning. We haven't got a sponsor yet for the channel. We're looking for a sponsor. We'd love a sponsor to help us to go to all the games. So if you've got a business and you want to promote it and you, you want to help us out, then please get in touch with me. It's lee at leecharles.tv. Just email me there. I'm going to get on with my work and then I'm going to get off to Bluefield Road tomorrow. If you're there, I'll see you there. I hope this is a great video and a great start to the season. I'll see you tomorrow or I'll see you on Sunday for the premiere of this video. Right, going to go and sell some fanzines. It's been raining, but it's stopped raining now. It's August in Blackpool. I can't believe it's raining, but hopefully it's going to be a great game. Let's go and get some fanzines sold. Oh, sold you can take a picture if you want. Yeah, you can. Hey, well done. First one sold. Grinshaw, Pennington, Ex Potato, Hogan, that three. And then uh, Hamilton's going to be right. Morgan, Norberg, Carey, B centre. And Connell will be on the left. Paisley and Lavery. For me, Connolly and Lavery, uh, Connolly and Lyons should be the only difference there. And then I think it's pretty bad. Thank you very much, thank you. Enjoy. How do you reckon we're going to get on? 2 1 win. Thank you very much, there you go. Now we're going to go on. Cheers, there you go. There's your fanzine. Good. So you reckon what do you reckon Jeff the Lions instead of Connolly? Yeah, Lions instead of Connolly. Yeah. What do you think about Critch coming back? A bit annoyed about the way he left. But yeah, yeah. Forgive him? Yeah, I'll forgive him, yeah. Uh, I like Critchley. I liked him when he was there a few seasons ago. He's, he's a good manager. Yeah. He knows what he's doing. Uh, I think he's good enough to take us back up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And how do you reckon we're actually going to go on this season? Uh, I reckon he'll do well. I reckon he'll do well. What's your name? Raif. And you've come from Germany, whereabouts? Uh, Berlin. Oh, you've been a Blackpool fan? Uh, 10 or 12 years. Right, how? Why? I was 
often in the, in the stadium. I come every year uh, to the Rebellion Festival ah. and I love the football club. All oh, right, okay. Who's your team in Germany? FC St. Pauli. These queues are unbelievable. <laughs> How many will get in? There you go. What's your name? Harrison. Harrison, how are we going to go on today, Harrison? 3-0. 3 nil. that will do. That, that's you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Do you have time to read that fanzine? Yeah, I might have time to read this. Outside before yeah. kick-off. <laughs> what do you think about Chris coming back? Yeah, well, yeah. Happy? Quite positive, yeah. I'm quite happy with that. Do you yeah. we're going up? Uh, yes, yeah. definitely. Back. Top six. So this is the success of the new <laughs> ticket system. The queues are absolutely enormous. <laughs> Just go on and on and on. We've got this right, haven't we? We need to I hope you can get in here. This is yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, how long have you been queuing? Yeah, we've been queuing now for 15 minutes. 15 minutes. And it's not good enough, no, it's, I'm afraid. It's not, is it? And we haven't got there, and we've still got the Apple Pay to sort out. Yeah. After that. Nightmare. Thanks, Lee. I'm not going to get a beer hey, now. Enough of me. I got one of these. Oh, I... which is not really helping me. <laughs> You're still in the queue. You're still it's not really helping me. So, so, someone bought my seat for the season tickets Wait. on paper. Oh, <laughs> now we're in a different seat. Oh, right. I reckon we're going to win 3-1. What do you think about the picture coming back? I think it's been brilliant. I think we're going to get up second place. That's my prediction. The views are just enormous. Yeah. Okay, now about 10 minutes before the game kicks off, and we've just got these huge, huge queues. We should be uh, all in the ground by now, having a coffee, getting yeah. seated, ready for the players to come out. Right, well, we finally got to, to the front of the queue, got my cold, and hopefully get in. Yeah. Right, we're in. Thank you. It worked. Two there, Albie Morgan could have put it across. I think he went for the shot. Oh, I know there's a chance here. takes them off when they're on two goals. Yeah, he never let anyone get a hat trick. He always takes them off on two goals. Let anybody get a hat trick. Let's see if he's grown in his year away from us and he's still doing it. Please, Chris, do not take him off. The North Stand are singing the new Laverick song. 
don't know the words to it, we'll try and get the words for it or something. So we might have to pick it up on our way again, but it's a new Lavery song. Beasley just had a shot there, just didn't get enough on it. Keeper saved it, but this is... He just needs that match shot, he's been out injured for quite a long time, so it's going to take a while, so be patient with him, guys. Well, they put up seven minutes of injury time, because we're on the new system now, where the referee stops the clock when it's time wasted. So these games are going to go on a lot longer, got seven minutes of injury time, and also, uh, you'll see the clock that carries on going after 45 minutes, right shot from them. Well, that's a great first half. Um, looking a lot better. <laughs> look like a team that knows what they're doing. We look like a team that's in the wrong division. We look, we look like a team. We look like a proper football oh, team. We do look like a proper football <laughs> team. Yeah. We look like we're too good for this division. Too good for these anyway today. I think it's going to be a much more enjoyable season, and you're going to see it a lot more. Already is. I've already smiling. had more enjoyment than I had all of last season. Yeah, you actually, uh, Jane was saying you couldn't take your eyes off it. You know, it was no, really, you it couldn't. Was that, that goal. Had a very clever game management at the end there as well, because um, Burton just weren't coming, and they looked beaten already. To be honest, they weren't coming at us at all. So we were just like the goalkeeper was just like standing with the ball at his feet and like passing to defender, just like standing yeah. there with the ball. They weren't even coming. Yeah, there were seven was minutes of extra time, like and they weren't it. pressing, were they, for a goal? But so why not? So if they're just not, wasted two if minutes. They're not going to come at you. Just stand there with the ball. Well, you're coming, and you're not. You're not. You're not coming. So let's just yeah. run the pot down, shall we? No, it was It was, it was bizarre. I feel sorry for the Burton fans actually because they've not had a lot to. Uh, to smile about. So apart from being in Blackpool, though it's raining this morning, so that's probably been miserable for them as well. But hopefully they'll have a good night out at the uh, at the punk festival tonight. If they're stopping, uh, I'll be out in town enjoying that. Uh, also, we've got a bit of half-time sport as well. We've got a big giant, two giant balls on the pitch. So I don't know what's going yeah, on there. But no, I don't know. Same for the crowd. It's all. It, it's great. They need, to to out, to be honest. they need to sort out the ticket uh, mess and the turnstiles going yeah. in because it was it was chaos today. But you're always going to get sort of teething problems with it. I'm sure they'll get on top of it. Well, I hope so. And yeah, I mean, I, if I, I you're watching this video, Sam, I mean, you can see it was it, it was a mess outside. So I said to the guy, a guy on the way in, I said, you know, because basically what was happening, you, you're coming in and you're just about to get to the turnstile. I'm like, well, can I search your bag, please? And then you're holding up the queue. So yeah. I said, why don't you just search the bags a bit further down the queue? And he's yeah. saying, oh, you know, I, I quite like. Like a little table for the bag searches and whatever so something there that they're obviously are thinking about so uh, it yeah. was always going to be a bit of carnage today wasn't it but uh, teething it problems but hopefully but, they'll sort that out for the veil match but having said that you know it's a great sign thousands queuing to get in we've gone down the league and, and honestly it's really busy you'll tell from the video it's really loud as well so you know the people are obviously looking forward to this season and hopefully a promotion season yeah, which definitely which is always better season. you know what i mean i think it will be a promotion season. win the league <laughs> not my words trust me by the way there's no half term advert on because we're looking for a match sponsor so if you're interested in sponsoring the videos and you you know you want to put your business out and Get it out to the thousands of Blackpool fans that watch this. Just get in touch with me. It's Lee at Lee Charles TV. Jane's also, I've shown you, you know, the fanzines out. I'll stick the QR code on the screen here. Yeah, for yeah me. we'll stick the QR code yeah, on If you there. want to subscribe to the fanzine, it's brilliant. The front cover's fantastic. Uh, I've got Rob Purden back uh, doing the artwork, which is brilliant. Um, and there's so many really, really good articles in there. I haven't written, I've written the editorial. Um, but I'm basically collecting this uh, really good team of writers who are, you know, range from other bloggers, um, other sort of creative people. There's other fanzine editors um, are, are contributing pieces. It's, it's really, I'm collecting a really good team of uh, people to create the content for this fanzine. And it's, it's really, really very, very good. And if you've never bought one, um, just uh, scan that QR code. Uh, and it's only £15 also. for the season as well, for for issues. Yeah. So it's well enjoy worth it. it. And it's... you'll have a good laugh as well. There's some real funny <laughs> funny things in this one. So I oh, can't he was laughing. There's a joke in there, <laughs> honestly. Was, you were laughing. You were laughing. I, I, I yeah. crazed myself, yeah. Anyway. Uh, there's a lot of Blackpool history in there as well that's that's really interesting. Um, and you're not going to get that content anywhere else. So uh, and it's it's a collector's item. It's, yeah, just just scan the thing. That's oh, a... top of the league. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. That's what that's what we want to see. Okay. We want to see that. We want to see that at the end of the season, don't we? Yeah. You brought your dad with you. Yeah, I brought my dad with me. Right. This is my dad, Stephen, right. and this is my dad's first game since about 2009 at home. I've been to a few away games. I remember seeing Jane at Sunderland about two seasons ago, three seasons ago, when we were playing them. What do you think about Chris coming back? I watched the interview that Simon Sadler did, and that sort of 
convince me. And I think Norburn's great. As long as we're top six, yeah. I'll be happy. Top six, Dad, what do you think? Top six, oh yes, yes. Playoffs is where Black will always go, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. It is. Right, okay, we're back out for the second half. About to kick off. There we go. Well, it's all a little bit tense at the moment, so it's a black ball up. Playing around the back, playing it with the Kenji game, we're holding on this league, and Burton has seems to be playing a lot better at the moment, don't they? It's just, it's uncomfortable at the moment. The bumps they had are obviously at half time, which they deserve, because they were just not coming at us at all. They, they really are harrying us now, so, so it, it's going to be tougher. It's just going to be tougher. We've lost control of the game. It's just a different phase. Just a, a great defensive clearance there. They are just they are just getting round on it. Will at the bottom. So we need Chris is making a substitution. I hope it's uh, for the better to be honest. It's, it's just nearly at the moment, folks, isn't it? It's quiet. Nervous. We don't want to let it go. Owen Dale's coming on. Who's coming on? Tony Parr just talked about the news. I don't know, I don't know what he's saying. I can't, you can't hear. Take Beasley off, mate. Beasley, Beasley. But as you'll see from the fancy, there's an answer in the fancy as to why we can't hear Tony Parr. You'll, you'll see. <laughs> yeah, there is. <laughs> yeah. Minutes are up, 97 minutes. We know it because the clock is still there. It takes away all the stress. Fans are now whistling to the referee because we know, we know seven minutes. Throw him, last, headed away. Come on, referee. That's it. Now the final whistle. Brilliant. Come on! We're going up! Cheers, bestie. See you later. Good start. Cheers, good goal. Are you going to get the first one? Oh, it is! Come on! He's back! Chris, we're the first. Ball. He's back! The North Stand He's like, he's the king. He's the king of Bluefield Road, he is. I know, we did have a king in the past, didn't we? But he's, he is. Just the way he was walking around, he's so proud, so happy. This is his kingdom. This is his kingdom. He is the king of Bluefield Road. I know he was Alan Sully, but it's, it's, he's been deposed. It's great. <laughs> Oh, it's really good. It's really good. It, it feels really good. It's yeah. going to be a great season. We just know it is. I'm so glad, glad we won for him as well, so he's got this happy return. And, yeah. and we can draw a line under everything now, and it's all wonderful. Good day, Nadine. Just won 2 0. What's your name? Mark. Mark and. Oh, you, 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 that's out to in Australia. Yeah, yeah, my cousin Nadine. All right, okay. Yeah. Hi, Nadine. That's me. Yeah. Good. First match of the season, 1 2 0. Good start. Full go. <laughs> Cheers. So, um, yeah, hello Australia. So, uh, it's when you watch Australia, it's honestly, it just feels great. It feels wonderful. You can't beat winning. I say it all the time. It doesn't matter what division you're in, it doesn't matter who you're playing. If you're winning, you're happy. So, I hope you're all happy. I'm gonna get outside, see what all the fans are seeing out there. Out we go. That's better. How do you reckon we'll go on? We'll go up. Going up. I do, mate. I'm Pearl. great, feeling better. What the Come on, indeed. <laughs> Go on, the pool. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Kill her. What did you think to the result? It was a good game. Lavery should have scored a bit more, though. Yeah. We like the new captain. <laughs> yeah, yes, indeed. <laughs> How's it going, mate? How do you? All right, enjoy All right, that. Yeah, you? Yeah. Second half, no. First half, yeah. Yeah, first half was great, wasn't it? <laughs> Um, I'm just with Lee, so I'll literally go on set. <laughs> it's on right, it's it's raining. <laughs> How are we doing? All right, it's just not the folks. I'm raining. Oh yeah, second half was a bit like yeah. sort of slow, but yeah, we kind of sort of took our foot off the gas, didn't we? Yeah, like, we, we did. It'd be nice it. to get a few more and just show like the league what we're about. But yeah, you know the two lavery goals, especially the second one. Yeah, great finish. I thought he'd lost it, and then he just like scooped yeah, it. Yeah, it was the just honestly, it was class, wasn't it? Absolutely class. Brilliant, but. Winning start and a clean sheet, so yeah. can't complain, eh? Yeah, tell everybody your channel as well. Yeah, so it's Ramos. It's Ramos. Videos, just like Lee. Yeah. And better, yeah. better. Let's hope for a good season. What do you think about the fist pump, Happy? 
Oh, I'll take it. I'm happy. Yeah, I'm yeah. happy Grizzlies back. It just so. felt great, yeah, didn't it? I, I, <laughs> he was walking around like he was back yeah, in his... I've missed it, and I think a lot of other people have as well. Yeah, so, yeah. you know what? Why not? Why yeah, not? Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. What do you reckon season prediction? <sighs> I'll be happy if we get a playoff spot. Because yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to aim too high and say, you know, we're going to win the league. But we've just got to see how it goes. I think home form will be crucial for us. Yes. Yeah. So I think we'll win a lot of games at, at Bloomfield. But I'll go. I'll go for top six. I'll, I'll say. I'll say four. I'll be optimistic. Maybe. Brilliant. Thank yeah. you. Pretty first. Thank you. Yes. All right, young man. Kangi gloves. Oh, who have you got? The Kangi. Oh, well done. Well done. Three nil. Going up. Come on, pool. Two. Two. Oh, two. Yeah. Do you want to say that again? 3-0. No, it wasn't. It wasn't 3-0. 2-0. 2-0. We're going up. Right. Going to be selling the fanzines. It's been raining, but it stopped raining. Oh, no. No. 